We How are. about that? Yeah, we have 80s. Yeah, we have. Coming uh, our way. Are you trying to move me along? I sure am. <laughs> because you're getting uncomfortable again? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, you know, they know me really well in HR. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> hey, looking out across the city here, we have clear skies. A beautiful day. Uh, you know what? If you're not going to have rain, at least give us some nice weather, right? And yeah, it's been good. So if you're thinking about planting your, you know, the flowers and all, go, go ahead. It's all good. E Easter's over with. There's no cold air. There's some cool mornings. There's 40 showing up but nothing crazy, so plan away, all right? Let's do this. Spring, it is finally officially, officially, it is here. We're looking good right now. We're looking real good. All right, let me show you what's going on or what's been happening so far. Yeah, this month, we're 2.8 degrees above average. This is all that nice weather we've had. We've had a little bit of rain, and I mean barely a drop, three hundredths so far total this month. And this isn't our wettest month, but remember the old saying, yeah, April showers? Yeah, that'd be good. We take any bit of that we could get. And here's your rainfall for the year. We're a little bit below average now because April is not doing so well. Last month, we were a little bit above average, which was nice, but man, April, uh-uh. So we've got some ground to make up. Downtown looks good. Nice and quiet here, part of our Lucky Star. Skycam Network, 60 degrees. Our normal high is about 70. A south wind at 10, our humidity creeping up now at 60%. We have a mix of 50s and 60s, a little warmer in the west. The wind is a little stronger out here. That'll help keep those temperatures up just a bit warmer out west tonight. And it's a south wind blowing to the north. But look at the panhandle right now. Gust over 30 miles per hour in Guymon. So it's going to be windy out there all night long out ahead of that. So as this storm system, which is just off the west coast, gets closer to us tomorrow, we see more wind tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be windy. A lot of wind as we get into your Thursday and into your Friday. This thing finally arrives on Friday. We're going to have a dry line scooting into the western half of Oklahoma. It's going to settle up pretty close to Highway 81. And here's the deal. We're going to have moisture increasing the next three days. The big push of moisture will come in on Friday. Now, we have a chance, yes, for severe weather. Thunderstorms to develop late afternoon into the evening. But what happens is we get a warm layer of air aloft, and that acts as a lid or a cap in the atmosphere. And the cap might just hold. Some of the new data tonight says we are bone dry on Friday and Friday night, that we get zero storms because the cap is stronger. Some data still hanging on to a few, not very many, but a few thunderstorms Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and then we turn cooler as the cold front will move in here as we get into late Friday night, all right? And the weekend will be a little cooler, but still very nice. Lows tonight, upper 40s. Notice a few 50s out west. Highs tomorrow, upper 70s. 80s in the west. Look at the wind tomorrow. Gust of 40 miles per hour. So you know what that means. The fire danger in the west will go high tomorrow. High Thursday. We'll do it again. 70s and 80s. Look at all the 80s out west. Gust of 45. So the fire danger on Thursday, even higher. So the next two days, fire danger in the red, high in the purple, extreme. And that includes all of northwestern and again, western Oklahoma. All right, so Friday. Highs in the 80s, moisture really increases throughout the day Friday. There's your dry line Friday afternoon. That can act like a trigger for thunderstorms to develop. If they develop, if they develop, they'll be strong. They'll be severe. The main threat, large hail, damaging winds. The tornado threat, right now it's pretty low. The moisture is a little bit limited, but if the moisture gets a little bit higher and we get storms to develop, there might be a little higher tornado threat. But right now, chance for storms, 30% chance at most. In Oklahoma City, a little higher chance to our north and to our northeast. Your weekend looks good again. Whatever you're doing, plant in the garden, playing outside, Saturday, Sunday, look at next week. Big warm up. Might see a few more severe storms, possibly by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Carl, back to you.